Now a CBS 4 News consumer alert, and the gender pay gap is definitely a thing, right? But what about the gender price gap? Well, a recent New York Department of Consumer Affairs study reveals women may be paying more than men for the same products. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana explains. Just this, please. Last name? Have you been here before? CBS went undercover. One female producer and one male producer visited a handful of dry cleaners in New York City. They brought nearly identical 100% cotton button down shirts in comparable sizes and requested the same service. Okay, no. uh, yes, please. The female producer was charged at least twice as much in more than half the businesses visited. In one, she was charged $7.50, while her male counterpart just $2.85. At another, she paid $3 more. But it happens more than just at dry cleaners. A New York City study found differences in clothing like jeans, personal care products like razors, and toys like this scooter. Their research showed that women paid more than men for similar products 42% of the time. Todd Marks, the senior project editor for Consumer Reports, has been researching this issue for years. You don't realize how badly you're getting ripped off or being taken advantage of as a woman because you've become so conditioned to pay more. While there is no federal law that bans this practice, gender price gouging for services is illegal in New York, Miami-Dade County, and California. And we don't really know who's responsible for it. Michael Cohn is a trade lawyer who says part of the problem are the extra costs for women's products tacked on from the get-go. He found that women's clothing, shoes, and gloves often enter the country with a higher import tax than men's. It might be $5 that you pay that's extra to Uncle Sam, but by the time it hits the retail consumer, it could be $10, $12, $13. The research shows, on average, the women's versions of a product cost 7% more than the same ones for men. In the newsroom, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.